hey my friends it's been a while since I talked about click ecourse itself the platform the things that are coming this is a new year so I'm going to be focusing on some of these new features to get those out the door right now they're mostly working but there's still little issues but I wanted to show you what is coming in 2021 for click ecourse in terms of features so that you can benefit from it uh and there's going to be more features as well but these are the ones that are kind of in the works right now which are kind of cool features that I hope you're going to like and I would love to hear from you which ones you'd be interested in seeing faster than others so we'll get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so let's get right to it. Uh, but actually, no, I'm lying. Let's not get right to it. The first thing I want to say is if you're listening to the audio of this, please make sure you go check out the video and the blog post at CIS. cis303.jsgagnon.com go check that out you're gonna see the video in the in the blog post and give you a much better view of what we're talking about because I'm going to be sharing my screen which speaking of which let's get right to it so if you haven't already seen Click eCourse uh, let me just kind of show you what it looks like as a basic let's open up an incognito and go to clickecourse.com which is uh, this link over here so if you go to clickecourse.com this is the page you're going to see when you first get there which is just the introduction page that talks about kind of what the site is about it first is a site to host courses in a way that's easy that's just a question of creating lessons and then bundling them into a course instead of having to worry about all this crazy stuff that all the platforms have which is you got to figure out your modules first you got to figure it out everything which you know isn't awful but if you just want to really go quickly and get a course down there and actually start selling and generating income you don't even need to do anything other than set up the lessons and the course itself you don't need integration you don't need any of those things just create the course and that's it so that's one of the things uh, one of the uh, main features of clicky course is that it's a quick and fast way of putting a course on there and starting to sell it right now you don't have to set up integrations you don't have to uh, set up modules you can do all that if you want but you don't have to do it to get up the door out the door right well that's clicky course so when you first go there you're going to register an account just click on this register link on the top there and then you can continue with Facebook or if you really want you can use an email and password the difference is when you put an email and password you're going to have to uh, click on a registry an activation link in your email afterwards right whereas with Facebook it's already it already knows it's you all right so that's the basics now what is coming up in clicky because there's a few things one of the things is let me just this is my debug site so it'll have things that you can't see on the normal uh, site so let's just get the link out of there but um, there's a few things that um, you might uh, not know about so first when you're creating a course on Click e course you basically give it a title you give it a summary and then you give it as much detail as you want in the details right now this particular course doesn't have uh really that many details right it just says discover what others look and then you can have a thumbnail right here an, an image that you uh that that is going to be shown um if you if you were to sh if I was to share this link say on Facebook if I go to Facebook right and I just go home and I just want to share that in Facebook whenever it does the preview here the image that'll show up is going to be the image you have there right so we'll just wait for it to show up um well maybe it's oh it might be because I shared it before but that's the idea of that this image here is going to be the image it's also the thumbnail that shows up as you can see right up here oh you can't see it's also the thumbnail that shows up and there's more stuff in the, this page is debug that's why you see this dl up here and then that's why you see uh this lesson id equals right there those are debug things so don't worry about that but here's a few things that are coming the first thing is the editor 
to the course so you can actually change this to be whatever you want you don't have to have this info on the side you don't have to have well the ads are set a different thing but you can make it and you know the basic is if I just show you what it looks like basically it's very ugly but it's still the basics is you can have it show up like that right with just uh, images of each of the lessons and you can put the text that you want in here right whatever text you want you can organize it the way you want you can set up uh, tables it's basically an editor if we want to sh if you want to see what the editor looks like this is kind of what it looks like if you click on the little oh my god my face is in the way let me move my let me move my webcam out of the way put it over here so you see down the bottom here there's a little um edit um uh, a pencil and then there's a, a, a view which is a preview this is the edit preview is that what I clicked on just a second ago which shows the preview which is default the default ugly looking thing but it but it's a different than what the default uh, view is it still shows the title the title up here the summary right here and the details right there so if you had more details you'd read more then it shows each of the lessons one after the other one that but like I said that's the default view new lesson new lesson new lesson right uh if I close the preview now I get the default system view right uh if I click on the edit right here it loads up the editor now the editor lets you do things like set dimensions uh, set the text center right justify all these different things it's basically an h a full html editor you can move things around you can add um you can add you know things like that if I do that and if I save it now if I go back to the if I close this uh, there's still something going on with this it's, it did save it but it thinks there's still a change if I do a preview now you're going to see I have those two images instead now or actually I guess that didn't work <laughs> but anyways <laughs> sorry about that that's what's going on this is the editor which will be able to do all these things that I'm trying to show you it's still in kind of really early beta you see I don't know why this these are there but oh maybe the uh, anyways I don't know so that's probably because I, oh I didn't publish it yeah let's publish it that's why it didn't show up so now if I go to the pre there's the preview see now we have the preview with the two images that I just did you can cancel the preview I go back to the default if anybody accesses this link now because it's got this special oh that's why the uh, preview in Facebook didn't show the image because the this 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 is using this as the view now oh it's not gonna let me I gotta go in the debug I gotta go in the debug and then I can access it so this is what it looks like right the two this is this is what somebody will see if they try to access that link on well on my debug site not on the real site because it's not active yet but that's the editor and lets you kind of do it whichever way you want I could for example go in here and I could say uh, let's just take this lesson and move it right there and lesson number three move it up here too right so and then I think if I do a plus plus there's a there's a way anyway so this is lessons lessons over here I can say lessons one two number three number three right introduction uh creating account and basics so and then I can delete these delete this I want to delete this I want to delete this I'll delete this I'll delete this and I'm just going to delete all this right and then I can actually delete I think these hrs can I delete them so I must be able to but anyways it's like that's part of it so if I do a save right here and then I publish it now when I review that re reload that page as you can see now it shows me this with this these hrs I need to delete them but anyways that's the editor right? it lets you do all these different things it's going to be a lot more advanced than that you can be able to drag and drop things and move them around a lot better than what I just showed you here but that's that's one of the things that's coming up that I want to work on and like I said if you are if you watch the rest of this episode and then you can come up and say okay well that's what I want I want that done first or the other things I'm going to show you in a minute uh, that'll help me to decide which which ones to focus on which ones to work more on right so that's the first one so the editor the the it's called it's called uh, grapes it's called grapes editor it's a 
it's an open source editor that I that you got to customize for your site but I built it I added it to the Click eCourse site so that it can be used but it's not active right now and if you want to be part of the beta I can actually activate it for you so you can play around with it and you know report any issues and tell tell us tell tell me what problems you're seeing or things you'd like to see first and that kind of stuff so you can go ahead and reach out you can always click on the plus here and create a support ticket and just say hey I'd love to have access to grapes or to the editor the course page editor uh, just go ahead and do that click a uh, support ticket and ask for it and I'd be happy to give you access uh, just it's just like I said it's not a feature that's finished so it's just I need to make sure that you know that it's you know buggy and it's not perfect but I would love to have you try it out and let me know what you think so that's that's the first thing so the grapes editor or the editor for the uh, course page right all right so that's the first one the next thing that's coming is uh pages and groups so let's just show you groups so whenever it, it's a basically it's a group it's a feature that lets you create groups so you can create a group uh there's you can select different kinds of groups let me move my I guess I can move my face back to the bottom here so over here you can see there's different kinds of group public group secret group private group so there's three kinds of groups and then there's the new group that's not public yet so if I was to click on this group it shows me that this group is not uh where's the status new group members manage I can manage the settings up here <clears throat> this group is still new status is new I can make it active and I can choose whether it's a secret private or public group I can choose whether people can just join the group or I have to approve them I can choose whether posts are open or I have to approve them and then I can even choose admins can uh, invites can can admins invite people or just me or also members can invite people now the other thing you can do too is if I look at the members this group has no members so let's go back to the groups just the groups it's been a while since I looked at this feature but let's go back to the groups and so if I choose one of the groups it shows me there's one member three members uh, okay let's look at the one that has three members so this one has three members in it if I click on the members I can see who the members are uh, whether they're admins moderators or the owner so if you have more members in the group you can you can make them admin you can remove them make them moderator um, and you can invite members here right if I can search for say for example uh Bob is there a Bob there's a Bob soul in here just invite this member now I invite Bob Bob Bob's been invited now he hasn't necessarily approved this by the way this is a test account and this is a debug site anyway so it's not a real uh, person or a real invite but that's how you invite somebody that's as simple as that right you just put uh, so what about Frank is there a Frank there's no Frank uh F there's a Brianna Florence invite Brianna now I can search for so if I can click on list all here it shows me all oh I can just choose anybody Jasmine let's invite oh that's what this does list all just shows me all the users that are on here and I can just go and choose them right now I can see these different people are invited if I was to go to them they would have gotten a notification up here saying that they got invited to the group um and they would be able to say whether they accept it or not if I let's Jasmine who's Jasmine let me see Jasmine is test 12 so let me log out and log in as test 12 which is Jasmine so just to kind of show you what it looks like so if I log in uh, this will reload the page anyways so log in test 12 test 12 <clears throat> okay so now if I log in as Jasmine this is Jasmine now I'm on her account now if I reload this page you'll see there's more tabs now all the tabs are showing up right let's see notifications right here you know, I've been invited to join the group uh and then sent you a friend request there's that's the other thing oh yeah there's friends anyways there's other things coming <laughs> that's so anyways groups is one thing okay let's just clear that so groups if you were to click on this link here oh uh, well on this notification you get you go to the group and you see the group you were invited by right and this the group name it's just called get your first lease not a real group it's just testing but it shows me the posts here and I can go into I can say accept accept invite or reject invite if I go to the members list I'm going to see oh I guess there's an error here 
be able to get group so I will have to look as you can see it's not fully functional completely yet let's go back to discussion or go to about I can see the about of the group in discussion I can see the posts that are in the group right and if I was a member I could actually post right now you see that I just see the the in the the post in the group right and and th this red stuff is debugged so that doesn't show up for real uh, but uh, I can accept the invite right now that I've accepted the invite uh, if I go back to no there's no units discussion so this group is closed to posting or I'm not sure but that should have been cancel request oh there must be a bug here so it looks like it's uh showing me as uh, okay let's log out and let's log back in so I'm logged out from this group this is a public group so this is a public group that's why I can still see it but if it was a private group because I'm logged out I wouldn't be able to see it anymore right if I click on login and log in as me again all right now if I go back to this group let's go to the settings uh membership posting is open admin okay so what about members so Jasmine oh okay so I guess there's a bug here because since I invited her she should have been able to accept the invite so I guess there's a bug there but uh I I'll approve it and then I'm gonna I'm gonna log back in as her log out and, th and this is why I'm saying these are features that are in development right now right so this is something that isn't yet done but if I log back in as her as test 12 yeah that's good and if I reload this page now because I'm in the group and I'm not just requested an access now I can see discussion I can actually create a post I can say hey thanks for accepting me to the group right so now I can just post and that will post a new update to the group see it says Jasmine posted to the group and it says hey thanks for inviting me and um oh enter summary wasn't uh, yeah can I edit this no it's not implemented there's lots of things that still need to be implemented and worked on but so that's the group so the groups allow you to do <coughs> this kind of stuff there like as you can see there's still a few bugs in it that I have to work out but the next thing is um pages so I got to go back to my account here <coughs> and I have to log in as me all right now if I go back to the more here oh, I gotta reload the page so under more uh there's going to be uh page groups pages I thought the friends was uh, there oh maybe it's not there I know mm. is it here uh pages groups oh yeah okay okay I'm going to show you that in a second so the next thing the next thing so we got the editor for the the courses we got the groups now we also have pages now pages is very similar to what you would expect on other um other uh flat platforms but I guess as you can see it's not enabled there there's no edit for it yet so pages will be similar it'll be a page where you can create it'll be instead of being a profile for a person it'll be a page for either a business or an interest or a, or a, a, a product or something like that that you can create under your account it's kind of like creating your own website for that specific thing and in a page you'll be able to create posts in there you'll be able to uh people will be able to like your page so that they see your stuff uh, in the notifications right so that's the other thing so that's pages since there's nothing to show you I can't really show you anything about it because it doesn't let me do it but that's the other thing so under let's see um, under as you can see there was a user judgment requested to join the group which really anyways that's a like I said that's a bug got to figure that out um but like I said let me know do you want to see the groups or do you want to see the editor for the courses right now the next thing is friends so friends is very similar to is very similar to Facebook right so you got I have my wife here that's a friend in here and you can actually go and say um find friends right so I can search for a I guess they have to be active I'm not sure I forget there's a 
so this is a this is the only friend that's showing up as an, an option right here I sent I sent request to Pascal Rodriguez here I'm not sure why he's not showing up and then this other one I can re, I see receive requests I can see block list I blocked this person so you can do similar things to and what friends what what friends allow you to do is it shows it allows you to have more connection with them and more interaction with them right there's certain things you can't do which right now isn't really that's not really there's not really a big uh need for friends on on clicky course but that'll allow you to be connected with people on the platform so you can actually post their news feed you can you know wish them a happy birthday those kinds of things the same stuff that you have on other social media platforms now what else can I show you the other thing I can show you is things like social links so as a marketer as a marketer you probably want people to be able to find your other platforms from here right so if I go here and I go to social links and this is not a new this is not a, this feature is mostly there it is there it's active but you can see that you can actually add new social link the default will will be that you won't see any of these if I click on add social link it lets me add any number of these links or I can have my own but it could be a custom uh, label or if it's let's say link if it's LinkedIn it'll automatically show you what the LinkedIn is you got to put your ID there or Alexa or or SoundCloud or or tumblr or twitter or youtube right it, it knows the basics of it so you just click and enter the information once you have it in your about of your user you're going to see these links with a social icon on each of these you can click the edit to go to where we just were but in here you can actually set and you can actually see people actually clicked on these see I have two people that clicked on my well this is the debug site anyways so that's all probably me clicking but if I was to click on Pinterest right here it'll actually take me to my Pinterest page right which loads up the Pinterest which lets people go to my Pinterest page and whatever um, but when I look back here and I reload this page you'll see that there's oh I guess that that's interesting oh there's a different Pinterest why is there why I have two Pinterests it's the same one I guess I added it twice because you can actually do that you can go in here and you can add the same thing twice I can actually go in here and delete see I have a Pinterest right here and another Pinterest right here so this is Pinterest success same thing so I'm just going to delete this one I don't need this now I only have this in Amazon I want to move it to the beginning so I'm going to move it to the beginning up here I can do that like that oops wrong so I I move it all the way to the top here and then Facebook LinkedIn LinkedIn page Facebook you can have Facebook page if you want I can actually add a Facebook page let's say Facebook this is Facebook this is Facebook page let's call this um ask Jean Serge I'm pretty sure is that it well, I, I have to look it up because I discard if I go to my pages let's go to my pages find my page right here let's say ask Jean Serge which I don't know if I ever oh I didn't I did not change it to a but let's just put that as the page name got to go back here and I just put that in here like this save it and then this can be my page actually if I edit this it says Facebook page I want to customize the label I want to say ask Jean Serge I'm going to do that like that and now it says ask Jean Serge on here and if I go back to my uh, about now you can see that I have this other Facebook here and if I mouse over it it says ask Jean Serge right whereas this one says Facebook but you know anyway so that's kind of that's kind of the social links that's the social links now what else can I show you if I go as you can see there's a whole bunch of tabs right here now these tabs are all the same as what shows up in the menu when you click on the menu here right invites notification preferences programs media <coughs> purchases commissions things like that news friends so your friends is one of the tabs up here right so friends I see right here if I click on groups right there it shows me the groups that I'm in well I guess there's that's not working right now pages is supposed to do the same thing same thing it doesn't show up but this is where you would see the pages that you like 
versus pages that you create or that you same thing with the groups it would show you the groups that you're in or the groups you own that you created same it's supposed to show what we see here which is basically the list of groups right or something similar to this if you want to create a new group you just click on the new group normally when you visit this if you haven't let's log out and go to the um, use use the other account here uh, I'm going to log in as test 12 which is I think it was Jasmine was it if I go to her oh I have to give her okay let's sorry I forgot so if I want to I'm going to show you what it would look like if you had access to the groups let me go in here I got to go into uh, me I have to give that person access just like I would do give you access if you wanted beta access to the groups I got to go into admin and give that person access so let's go into admin obviously this is not something you have access but if I go into users and I search for test 12 test 12 this is it here I'm just going to go here I'm going to give her access to the groups I'm going to give her access to friends biz pages group grapes funnels uh, groups anyways that's fine just that okay so now she's got access to that and if I log out let's go back to my let's go back to my page over here I'm going to log out and I'm going to go back to Jasmine's account okay so if I go back to Jasmine's account I'm not logged in as ja I, I continued as me <laughs> sorry <laughs> I logged in as me instead again let's hold on let's go back here and log in properly as her test 12 there you go all right so now now you can see that there's groups and pages she has that now if I go to uh more I go into groups okay so now she can see the groups that are public and private groups that so you but you can't see secret groups so private groups are groups that you can you can go in there and you can see the posts right but you can't you can't and you can see the members but that's interesting though I think that's a bug because you're not supposed to be able to see the posts right okay yeah you're not supposed to be able to see the post when it's a private group you're not supposed to be able to see the members either but just but you should be able to find the group you should be able to find the group see the image and see the number of members but not who they are right so that's a bug right now let's go back to the groups here and okay so in the public groups you're supposed to be able to see the members and you're supposed to be able to see the posts that's the difference between public and private and whereas the secret groups they don't even show up in the list and you can't even find them if you don't want to you can show these right now if I'm a if I'm a new per, a person who has access to the groups I can create my own group and I'm going to call it Jasmine this is going to be uh jazz uh jazz mastermind I'm going to call it jasmine mastermind join join me as I talk about what makes me tick and maybe you'll resonate and I can help you get results right so this would be a mastermind jasmine's mastermind and that would be the description I'm going to make this a public group and save it and then I have this new group it defaults to this image I can edit it if I want and I can change the image to something else there's default images I don't know if they're oh no that's just upload yeah so you can upload this profile picture there's no you can have a profile picture which uh is what shows up on the side right 
there's no image right now but if I go back to the group back to the list this is the group now this is a group I just created see how it says new and I'm the owner I go to this group there's nothing there yet there's no posts and I can say welcome I can just say welcome happy to have you here right so I'm just post that like this and by the way you can post images and things like that so if I just this is a first happy new year right I can actually go and choose a file here I can go find a happy new year image someplace maybe do I have something in my downloads here LinkedIn profile uh, no, let's just it doesn't really matter whatever image you just post it right and then you have this in the group now you've got this image in the group and it says happy new year it could be an image obviously of a happy new year fireworks that kind of things and the default profile is this which is kind of weird but I gotta fix that I guess because that makes no sense that it would be my profile picture as a default but it must be because I have a default some someplace for that uh I gotta fix that but if I go and I go to settings and I update the the whoops not this one I don't want the cover photo I want to choose a thumbnail let's choose a thumbnail in my downloads let's just use say uh, I don't even know what any of these things are screenshot sure let's use this one okay he's replacing the image failed to save it why did he fail to save it oh missing file to upload oh that's fine choose file I forgot about that I gotta go in here let's use this one is this the one no this one this one there we go placing image he's uploading it failed to save group setting for th I don't know if that's what that is but save it okay if I go back to the about yeah so see the image has changed now obviously that's not the right format you want to have a square image for a profile picture that's kind of how that works so that's the group so you would you could change this to different images I have I I want to make it there is a stock images that are default default to something right in the for the groups but that's kind of how you do in that under members now I can invite Jean Serge yeah invite this member list all let's say I invite Bob and let's say I invite Stephanie I want to invite Sarah I can invite a bunch of people right but so those are the, I'm inviting these people right to the group which obviously you want to be careful of that you don't want to just blast people with things um but that's that's how you create a group that's how you set up the groups and uh that's yeah so that's the thing with the in the plans we talk about groups in here right group do I I guess we don't oh okay I didn't add it in here yet what about pages pages no okay so I guess I haven't put that in there yet and uh but yeah so that's those are a couple things that are coming the groups the pages the editor for the courses and there's friends friends list as well and I talked about social social links it's kind of on your about page so yeah you can do all these things there's lots more things coming as well like for example email uh email broadcasting email sending to your members um uh funnel page creation those kinds of things are all going to be in the platform so you don't have to pay for all the different services for all these different things right you, it won't be the perfect thing it won't be you know able to do everything that all the the other platforms that you pay for will be able to do but you'll be able to start with that not have to worry about all these other payments um, and use this platform for those things all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets 
the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.